what's going on? It's Mikey Chen, and today I'm gonna show you a super, like, super, like, like super times 20 easy to make dish. Well, it's not actually a dish, it's like a snack. How do you guys feel about peanuts? A lot of you probably like, eh, you know, I'll eat it on the airplane because that's all they give me. So you probably don't have strong feelings for it. But today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a Chinese snack that's super delicious. It's called stir-fried peanuts in salt, something like that. Now, what's so awesome about this snack is that it goes well with anything. Let's say you're having a Chinese feast. Then serve up some of these peanuts. It goes good with every single dish. Or you're having a sandwich. Get a side of these peanuts to eat with your sandwich. It'll make your sandwich better. So I basically have here a bowl full of peanuts that I put into my little uh, thing with holes. I'm sure there's a kitchen professional name for it. I, I don't know what it is. What I'm gonna do here is I am going to dampen these with water, just slightly. The reason I'm gonna do that is when I cook it and these peanuts are damp, they're not gonna get burnt. I'm not gonna soak it in water, just kinda drizzle water all over it. So I gave these peanuts a bath. I'm gonna find a place around my house or I'm gonna dry them out because I have to dry them out before cooking. Otherwise, uh, wet peanuts will soak up too much oil and we don't want that. So my peanuts are dry now, and now we're gonna start to stir fry them. So what you wanna do is just pour some oil into the pot, not too much. Basically, you want to gauge it so that you have enough oil where every single peanut is covered, but not more than that. So this is about a little less than a quarter of a cup for me, and that's definitely enough. Here's the key to cooking these stir fried peanuts. You got to put the peanuts in before the oil is even heated. And this is because what's going to happen is the peanuts and the oil is going to start heating up at the same time. So this way the peanut has the same temperature throughout. And for heat, we're only going to do uh, medium low heat. We're not going to do high because we don't want to burn these things. So what you want to do is keep moving the pot so no peanuts will burn. And then you can get the same heat consistency throughout the entire batch. I'm going to cook this until the peanuts start to change color and then you're going to see some of the skin start to fall off. Then it's done. You guys see how the color of the peanuts is turning darker? We want to make it so that all the peanuts colors have changed and then it's done. And the whole process will take only about uh, four or five minutes maybe, but you really got to gauge it by the color of the peanuts. So most of these peanuts, it looks like the color is changing. So now I'm going to add the salt. I always try to add a lot of salt because these peanuts really taste good when you add abundance of salt. People say sea salt is the tear of the Buddha. Then you just toss them a few more times with the salt and it's done. There's no way to taste them yet because they're going to be soggy right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour them into a plate because they've been soaking in oil for the last five minutes. What I'm gonna do now is take a bowl and just scoop all my peanuts in and leave all the oil back in the pot. Once you have the peanuts out of the pan, set them aside for about 20 minutes and then they're good to go. So it's about 20 minutes. Take a look at my peanuts now. Look how good they are. Oh my goodness. These are the most easy things to make. Let's try one of them. You guys hear the crunch? Oh, I'm gonna close them. These are extremely crunchy. Mmm. They're fantastic. These will go good with anything you're having. Chinese food, Italian food, whatever. You can always use a side of peanuts. Or you're just having a drink, you just want a snack. You know what I do? Because there's still salt on these peanuts. I'll teach you guys a trick. Eat these with chopsticks. These will help you practice your chopstick skills as well. Now you don't get salt on them, and you can eat them one at a time so you don't overeat them. After you're done with them, if you can't finish the whole batch at once, no problem. Put these in the fridge and they'll still be crispy next time you want them. They're so addictive. I can't stop eating them. This is like a drug. Anyway guys, go try this out at home. Let me know how you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. See ya.